There are lots of different component libraries for React, but here I want to show you something really unique, and it is called Redix UI. If we take any library, like for example React Bootstrap or any other library, you are getting not just components, but also the styling together with these components. And typically it leads to the problems, because we don't really need default styling, our project typically needs our own custom styling. Then we start to override things, it is getting nasty, we have importance everywhere, and even if you have some theming from the library, it is not flexible enough for real projects. So the first problem that we really want is that libraries with components should not have any styles, they must be unstyled. The second problem is that all components are not extremely versatile. Typically, when developers implement components, they are splitting them at maximum several components. This is not enough to make it flexible. A really good reusable component is a component which can consist like of 5 or 10 different children components or even more. Then you can exactly pick which parts you need and which parts you don't need. And the last and most important point is regarding accessibility. Accessibility is hard, nobody really likes to implement it, and a lot of component libraries don't do that at all. And this is something that we must have on all our websites, but we don't really want to do that. This is why we really need to pick a library, which provides for us enough accessibility. What exactly? Every component must work inside the form correctly, and secondly, be accessible for screen readers. And the library that I'm talking about here is called Redix UI, and it ticks all three boxes. When we jump to the official website, we have something like themes, primitives, icons, and colors. This is all not interesting for us, we must jump to documentation, scroll here to the bottom, because all this stuff is kind of needed, but we have something similar in other libraries. But what is really amazing is this component section. Because all components in this section is exactly what I'm talking about, for example, alert dialog. As you can see here, it's a button, we can click on it, and we're getting a model like this, where we can click cancel or revoke access, we have a title and description. Most importantly, we can choose these buttons with tab like in normal form, I can hit here enter, so the model is closed. Let's have a look on the code. Here is this removing dialog, and this is how we typically would use that. This is what we need to write in order to implement such dialog from this library. So our first step is to install React Alert Dialog from Redux UI. As you can see, you can install each component separately. And the whole component is split in lots of different chunks. We have here a root component, then a trigger, this is the button where we open the model. Then we have a portal for Alert Dialog, so you can open your model in the body. Inside we have overlay, content, inside content we have a title component, a description component, and our buttons, where we have a cancel button and an action button for submitting. As you can see, it is extremely composable, if we don't need, for example, an overlay, we can remove it, we don't need description, we can also remove it. So essentially you can combine all these components like you want. Additionally to that, there is zero CSS inside. If I'm just removing everything that we have here inside removing dialog CSS that I styled, and I look on my project, here is my delete account, I'm clicking on it, and this is how it looks like. There is nothing styled at all, but these are working components. This is exactly what I want, because this is the whole styling that I wrote for this model. This is exactly styles that I need for my project not some styling that I'm getting by default and that I need to override. So all styles that I wrote are custom, but obviously, as this is a CSS library, we can use lots of different variables from Redix. We have here on the top colors that we can use with all these palettes, we have here icons, we can also use them, and we have themes. But as I already said, this is not the main point how Redix shines. Now let's look on another component, and here we have single select. As you can see with enter, I can open the list, now with arrows I can go up and down, and I can select something. So let's have a look on the code. This is our fruit select, and this is how component looks like. Again, we are starting with root, 
And here we have our onChange event, and with onChange we are getting a value when we selected something. Now inside we have our trigger. And as you can see inside trigger, we are providing a value and an icon. Again, icon is coming from Redix UI. And after this, we have a portal. So the idea is similar to our dialog. We are opening our single select in the body. Now inside we have our content. We can have an icon button if we need to. And we have different groups which are separated with separator. So we're using select.group, which is a child component, and select.separator. And the interesting thing that you can see here is select item. This is not a part of the select. What we did, we created a child component to encapsulate all this logic inside. So now for every single item, we're reusing all this piece of code and we're adding a class name, which creates for us an extremely configurable single select, which we can control with keyboard and which has all styles that we need for our own project. But if you still think that Redix UI is too much for you and you just need something comfortable to write CSS, you might want to check Stylix from Facebook, which they created to simplify writing styles inside React.